Hello, it's me, Angelica Collado. I'm here with another video, and in this video, I am going to be talking about nails. So, how to grow your nails. I, um, I have, I'm one of those people that have a bad habit of biting my nails, and this habit formed when I was younger. <laughs> And when since I was a teenager, I tried to stop. I tried to stop biting my nails and I started um, growing them actually. And I was successful for like about a few months. But this is the first time that I have been successful um, for about a year. I still have some nail on my hands. So I I am actually still growing them and you know I'm still battling with biting my nails and I know maybe some people are like ew you bite your nails you know um but it's actually very common it's more common than I than you think and it's actually more common that a lot of people have that reaction and I just recently found that out because I didn't know how nasty it was or is to bite your nails and maybe you don't know this maybe you're a nail biter like I was all these years and just didn't know it um I mean just didn't know you know how bad it is actually but our hands are really 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 dirty and when it comes to you know we're touching things constantly even if it doesn't look like it um even if you're somebody that washes your hands often you don't realize you know the things that are you're touching actually are are dirty you know um just everywhere from from door handles you know with the whole coronavirus going on you definitely you know have heard all of this before but you know it's really extreme and our fingertips are really dirty and you putting you're putting um your nails in your mouth and that brings the germs into your body and so that's why a lot of people are like ew that's gross that's disgusting um and you don't realize why you know because let's say like the dirt on the ground you drop something and you pick it up it's like and then you bite your nails right probably not immediately right after but like throughout the day if you didn't wash your hands and then you're biting your nails it's the same thing almost like you know eating something from the floor you know or like you know touching money right that's really dirty right and then you don't realize you have a habit of biting your nails and then all of a sudden your fingers are in your mouth and now you have all that germs inside right it's really gross it's really nasty it can cause a lot of skin problems and um it's also bad for your nails so um it's like let's see the saliva in your mouth is really strong and when you put your fingers on your mouth it will mess up your nails um let's see it makes it weak also, biting your nails will for, will change the form of your nails. If you ever see like some ladies like at the nail salon when they're doing your nails and their nails are all nice and um long and and uh, you know they have like this certain shape to it because they don't bite their nails. That's why their nails are hard because the saliva isn't ruining their nails. Also, they um they haven't they haven't you know since they're not biting their nails they what did I say that they don't it, the their form has stayed the same throughout the years because they're not biting their nails and they don't have the saliva that's weakening their nails um and and yeah so it's a lot better not to put your fingers in your mouth um and most people i think that our nail biters have a hard time growing their nails because of the fact that i think i was going to say something else i reviewed the video and i can see that i said everything i wanted to say but i didn't realize it unless i'm wrong okay i don't know maybe it'll come up later but um yeah so so yeah people that bite their nails have a hard time growing their nails right um because of all the saliva and the bat you know changing your nail form um now i you know have been battling with this since i was a teenager so now i'm here to tell you guys you know what has worked with with me you know give you some tips on how to grow your nails because i'm telling you it's been a year for me and i'm still at it and i've never gone this long trying to grow my nails um i've always stopped after like maybe 
I think the most I've ever did was when I was a teenager, and that must have been five months or four months. And it grew really long, like I could see them, but I haven't, I have not been able to grow them that long because um, I think that I, I don't even know why, I just end up biting them again, and that's what it is. So you have to really stop putting your fingers in your mouth. And the only good way to do that is to have a real good reason not to do it. So when you really know, when you really come up with that reason for yourself, then you can work with yourself on stopping it. Because you don't know, like it is really, it is really, you know, after all the years of biting your nails, it can, it can really affect you. You know what I mean? It's hard to stop right? If you're somebody's dealing with this, then you know what I'm talking about. And even if you're not somebody who bites their nails, you know, you never know. Um, my mom claims not to be a nail biter, but I swear I see her put her, um, like, her fingers in her mouth. So, so, I mean, even if, you know what I mean, even if you don't think you're a nail biter, but you know you kind of do something like that, you never know. This, you know, your problem could get worse, you know? So, you want to just eliminate your hands to your face at all costs because you know it doesn't only just affect your nails but it affects your skin etc cetera, etc cetera. so so let me let me just move on <laughs> okay so when i first started to grow my nails when i was a teenager i started with nail polish and that's mostly like the common way to go about it for girls and after all this time i realized that that's actually not the best way to do it because um you know, not always will you have nail polish on your nails. So what are you going to do when the nail polish isn't there, right? And that's the thing. Yeah, I can I can wear nail polish for four months straight. And then all of a sudden, I don't, you know, one day I don't wear it. And then I start biting them again. And so that's the thing. You have to practice not biting your nails. You have to come up with a good reason for yourself not to do it anymore. Um, and when you have a really strong, powerful reason, you will do it, right? It's like, you know, going to school every morning, right? Doing something important, going to work, right? I have to do this. I have to do this. So you do it because you feel like you have to. You feel like you should. It's important to you. So it's the same thing. You have to have a good reason not to do it. And for me, like with this whole health, like I this year, I've been, well, maybe for the past two years, I've been really into my health and changing my my ways of life and things like that. So nail biting is definitely one of them. Um, and I don't want to do it anymore because I feel like, like, I think this might have been what I was going to say. Like when you're a child, your your nails are a certain way and they're meant to be a certain way as you get older. They're supposed to, you know, um, they're supposed to grow a certain way. And I just feel so bad about the fact that I, um, you know, messed up my, my beautiful nails that I had as a child by biting them. And I feel like I will never know what my nails could have looked like if I just didn't bite them, you know? And it's so, it's such a sad thing. And when I think about it, I just, I just don't want to even know about nail biting. I, I just don't want to do it anymore. And that's one of the things that, um, that I, you know, think about. That's one of the strong reasons I have to not bite my nails anymore. Um, and it's really unhealthy. It can cause skin problems and it's just not worth it. You know what I mean? Like something so simple. And it's also like when you think about like God and like he doesn't want you to bite your nails, like because he does not want you to hurt yourself. And if you think about it, biting your nails is kind of hurting yourself because you know, you're changing your body. That's what you're doing by doing it and you don't realize it, you know? I mean, just think about how many times you've bit your nails and you've gotten, you know, cuts, right? Um, you know, right now my nails aren't that as bad, but like when I used to bite my nails, it would like have like, you know, skin coming off and things like that. And I've seen other people that they've, you know, really had um, worse problems. So I know, and I know that, you know, it, it is actually hurting yourself. So you know, try to think about a good reason for you to stop. You know what I mean? And even the curiosity of just wanting to know what my nails are actually supposed to look like, you know, if, you know, that, that also makes me want to keep going. Um, I think what happened? Uh, also the nail strength. I, I love how it feels when, when the nail is strong. If you don't bite, like, if you're just starting out and like maybe you've never tried to grow your nails before, if you take like just one nail, 
like maybe your pinky or your thumb that you're not going to bite like for maybe like a week or a month, you're going to start to see like your, that nail will get really, really hard. And I love, I love how that feels. So like, you know, just so many good things I love about growing my nails. <laughs> and, you know, I just want to keep going because there's more and more and more and more things keep happening to me as I try to grow my nails. Um, okay, yeah, so you need a really good reason to stop biting your nails. Um, but like I said, I don't think the best way to go about it is using nail polish because I tried it and once you take your nail polish off, you might end up biting your nail. So the nail polish doesn't, may, maybe might help you to grow it a little bit, but it won't help you to grow your nails forever. It won't help you to stop biting your nails and that's going to, uh, you know, cause you to eventually, you know, have short nails again. So I thought that maybe it would be a better idea if you um, use clear nail polish. If you use clear nail polish, that might be better um, because I actually started doing that and it did help me. It helped me, you know, because when you look at your nails, you, you're seeing them clear and you're thinking that they're clear. And also, for some reason, like clear nail polish peels off faster. So you're going to have, um, you're going to have a uh, more chance um, more time with your with your nails bare more than if you had color nails so so that helps you to practice not biting your nails um and you know it's it's all you know think about it it's probably is better not you know to practice growing your nails without the nail polish it's better for you it's better it's healthier because you know nail polish does change the color of your nails over time right so, yeah, it's probably better not to use a nail polish, but if you need it, you know, because I know it's hard, you know, to stay away from nail biting, just use the clear nail polish first, because um, when I started doing that, I started seeing more results. I started seeing myself put less, you know, mixed with all the, you know, the reasons why I want to stop um, with the clear nail polish that helps me um, to, to bite my nails less. So I think that is really the best way to go about it. Use clear nail polish and not color nail polish. Um, because the color one, it just it just holds you back. You know, because you know what I mean, it, you only you're you're not biting them because you have the nail polish on. But the clear nail polish, it doesn't matter. So so I think that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm going to to use the clear polish instead of the color. Um and, and yeah, some other good tips of growing your nails is water. If you um, leave your nails in water, right, for like maybe like 15 minutes every day or five minutes every day, that's going to strengthen your nails. It's going to wash off all the dirt, you know, from your, from your skin. Um, it's going to help you to get back the shape of your nail that way. Um, and it's natural. It's free, you know, it's just water. Um, just try to use, you know, get that water into your nail on your hands more often, and you're going to see your nails getting stronger and stronger. Um, let's see, another one is cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is really good for your nails and will help you to grow your nails. Um, let's see, what other tips did I have? just kind of like winging this video. I didn't really think about everything I wanted to say, um, you know, when it came to this. Um, but I just, you know, most important thing is having a good reason and just to practice it, right? Um, you know, sometimes when you're biting, uh, you, you're not thinking, you're, you're thinking about something else. So I'm trying to practice, even with like your posture, you know, you're thinking about all the, all of these things and you're not paying attention to 100% of what you're doing. So even with the nail biting, you're not paying attention to what you're doing. So um, even if that's just like scratching your head or, you know, just slouching or, um, you know, zoning off. I mean, there could be like a bunch of different things that we do throughout the day when we're not 100% paying attention. Um, and so I just try to focus, you know, every time my nails are like, oh, let me stop. You know, and it's all about, you know, how much effort you put into it. If you really want to do it, you can. You just have to keep going and keep going. Um, 
and trust me, it's been a year for me, and I'm still going, and my nails are really short, you know, you might think, oh, you know, that's nothing, that's not a lot of progression, but actually for a nail biter, it really, really is, um, so I just want to, you know, show you proof on that, you know, because a whole year, and I, you know, always, I always went backwards, all the time, I would do a little bit, and then I would go backwards, um, but this time I stayed consistent with just the reasons in my head and, um, just practicing with, uh, the different clear polishes. And that, that was really, that's really, that's really it. That's all I've been doing besides, you know, putting different things on, on my nails like cocoa butter, um, which helps you to, to heal your skin. So if you are biting your nails and you have cuts, that's going to help you. Um, also, honey is good for, for the shape forming. Oh, another thing I wanted to say, because there's a lot of things that can discourage you from growing your nails. Like, um, you know, the nail biting thing. <laughs> that's number one. But, um, you know, you might not see results. You might not see results if you are, you know, biting your nails, you just have to be patient with, patient with yourself. But like for me, I'm um, somebody that is really looking forward to seeing how my nails are supposed to look naturally, right? If I never bit my nails, how would they look like? And apparently it's going to take you like about three years of consistently not biting your nails for your nails to be naturally at its natural form. Um, and, you know, I, I want to stop biting my nails forever, not just for three years, but forever. So, you know, just keep that in mind because this is something that you want to keep trying to do until you completely stop. Um, but, you know, lots of things can discourage you. I mean, it did for me. I, you know, tried so many times. Um, but having a really strong, good reason, that helped me. So <laughs> I really want to stress that part out. Um, let's see, what else, what else, um, oh, another thing is, you know, sometimes you might form other habits, like, if I'm not biting my nails, sometimes I'll, I'll play around with my nails, like, feeling the, the, the tips of it, you know, feeling the edges of it, that kind of satisfies me instead of biting my nails, um, but, uh, you want to be careful with the habits, the new habits that you do form, because, even going like that or pressing down on your nails, that can cause you to change the shape of your nail. So you don't want to do that. You you want to just leave your nail alone. Um, and, you know, you don't want to really want to touch them at all. So, so, yeah, I mean, I don't really know if there's anything else that I wanted to say. Cocoa butter. Oh, fruits. Fruits. Fruit juices are is really, really good for your nails watermelon this summer i had a lot of watermelon and when i was you know cutting the watermelon and doing all that i saw my nails getting harder and harder like it was it worked fast so so that's another thing but definitely fruit juices are really good for the nails um and uh and yeah and water i mean that that's that one is the most amazing one over time that's going to change the shape of your nail uh, and yeah, I don't know. I think that's it. That's all I wanted to say about growing your nails. I think, I don't know. I feel like there's more, but <laughs> this was like the main stuff. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a progression. You don't want to give up on yourself. You want to keep going, you know, even if you do end up biting your nails one day, you know, just know tomorrow you can stop, right? Um, oh, another tip is nail filing. That's also a good tip on growing your nails because one time I was growing my nails, they were growing really well. I kept putting my, my hands in my mouth. I wasn't biting them, but that was weakening the nail and they kept it kept chipping. So it also, you know, got weak around the, that part, which um, made it made it break off. But if you if I kept filing, if I file it down just a little bit, maybe every other day or every other week, that's going to keep it from, from, um, getting sh too sharp, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, you know, if it gets too thin at the tip, it'll break off, so you want to make sure that it's leveled throughout the entire nail, so filing that will help you to do that, um, filing them will help you to do that, um, let's see.
Another thing I noticed, um, and if you ever tried growing your nails, you know how fun it is to like tap on things and, you know, do that sort of stuff. But it actually can change your nail. Um, if you keep doing that over and over, your nails could bend inward and that'll cause a weird shape. And that was starting to happen to me. So I realized that that's not the way to go about it. You don't want to tap on things at all. You just want to leave the nail alone. You see, I keep learning different things as this process goes on. Um, I, I don't. Only a couple of nails have grown have grown past a certain point where I could see them on the back of my hand, um, but they always fell off because I kept I keep ha I have the habit of keep putting them in my mouth. So I'm still, um, you know, practicing getting rid of that habit. Um, so yeah, you know, it's a process. It's a process. So I want you to know that you know it's possible for you to do it. You just have to have a good reason, and you just have to practice. Don't give up on yourself. And if I were you, and this is your first time, or maybe you also have done this before, you do not want to use. You don't want to fall and just rely on the nail color. You want to have clear polish, um, and practice, practice, practice until you eventually stop. For me, I'm still going at it. I'm really proud of myself because. I've never gone this long um, and stayed consistent. So I look forward to, you know, them being as long as possible. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on, you know, what ends up happening with my nails. Um, and yeah, I mean, maybe I'll, I think I'm, I'm going to plan to do more like nail stuff. I want to do a video on how to paint your nails yourself if you're someone who doesn't know how to do that. Because I did tell you, I started growing, trying to grow my nails when I was a teenager. That's when I learned how to paint my nails on both of my hands. So if that's something you want to, want to, you know, learn, then definitely stay tuned because I'm going to make a video on that. Um, and you know what? You know, this is definitely a neutral thing, you know what I mean? This is for both men and women, girls and boys, you know what I mean? But, I mean, just the nail polish part, because, you know, I don't really see much men wearing color nail polish, so they probably have a, a better advantage at growing their nails because mostly they use clear polish, right? Um, but, yeah, that would be the better alternative, right? So, so yeah, if you're a guy, you definitely want to you know, try, stick with the clear polish. Um, I know that's what's gonna, I know that's gonna work. I think that's what I'm gonna do, but it's been, it's, it's December and it's Christmas. I mean, <laughs> it is December, but you know, Christmas just passed and I've been stuck on green since the summer. I, I, I told you everything in 2020, I am stuck on summer. You know, I got this color for the fall. I made another video, but I didn't post and I was telling you guys about me buying this color. And this, this is my favorite, my favorite nail polish. Um, it's Sally Hansen Insta Dry. It's the best nail polish. And they have a clear version of this too. Um, but yeah, so I bought this for the fall. I bought this and orange. <laughs> it's such a summer color. It's called Hollow Green. That's what it is. And, um... And yeah, so, you know, it's Christmas time, so I I was, like, all green all month. And I'm still stuck on Christmas. That's why my nails are green. And, and yeah, so New Year's is coming up, so I know this is probably going to be, like, a hot topic for a lot of people on how to grow your nails, you know. But I think this video has a lot of advice, that like, substantial advice that's really going to help you um, with whatever it is you do. Maybe you have your own process, but, you know, definitely... Um, my tips in here should, should work. <laughs> um, and yeah, okay, so that's it. That's really all for the video. Oh, okay, I just came up with another thing. Um, you know, you can be really addicted to, to biting your nails. Like, sometimes, uh, I know, like, about, like, the taste. Sometimes some people like the taste of it, you know. Um, you know, there could be a lot of different reasons why you like to bite your nails um it could be like a security blanket you know maybe maybe you're stressed and you're biting your nails you know if there's a feeling attached to biting your nails you know there's like a deeper there's a lot of um there's like a deeper meaning to biting your nails you know only you would really know what that is and um if you really want to 
you know, stop biting your nails and start growing your nails, then you have to uh, realize that, you know, for whatever reason that is, biting your nails isn't going to help you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I wanted to say. Um, okay, okay, I know. Now I know what to say. Okay, so, you know, sometimes, feel, you know, certain feelings can be attached to it, right? You're doing it to feel a certain way or for whatever certain reason it might be. Um, and you want to try to find a healthy way to have that same feeling. It's sort of like, like the whole vegan thing or vegetarian thing. A lot of people eat chicken because it gives them that sort of feeling. It reminds them of their family, for example, or of, you know, they like chicken noodle soup, so they can't stop eating chicken because, you know, it reminds them of when they're sick and their mom needs to take care of them. You know, that, that's a certain feeling. You know, it could be the same thing with nail biting. Um, you know, maybe when you get nervous, you start biting your nails, it, it relaxes you, you know, and that, that's a certain feeling that you feel. And it's like you want to try to, you know, you, you can still have that same feeling of when you were a kid. You can have that, you know, eating that chicken soup. You can have that same feeling of relaxation by, by doing something else doing something that's going to make you better, right? Biting your nails does not make you better, right? You don't have your beautiful hands that you once did when you were a kid because you bit your nails, right? You're not as healthy as you could be because you eat that chicken noodle soup. So we have to um, find a way to, you know, satisfy yourself in a positive way. So I don't know if that, if that, I, I, I know that definitely is going to help you. You just have to really give yourself some time and analyze yourself a little bit um, and, you know, figure out what, what that reason is for you. And then just substitute the nail biting for something else. You know, um, for me, I'm finding that keeping busy, doing something um, always, like for every moment, like if I'm stressed out, you know, just exercise or do something. Do something that's going to keep me moving like that will distract me from biting my nails you know what i mean or distract me from whatever is causing me you know stress or whatever you know what i mean i do something else you know keeping busy from 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 any downtime where i'll be biting you know what i mean so so that's just an example um okay okay that's it that's really it for the video um i think it's been 20 minutes hopefully this is not that you know it wasn't that long for you guys um okay all right, that is all. I wish you guys good luck um, for the new year um, and on your process on growing your nails. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. I'll keep you guys updated, I promise.